Hi, welcome. This is a new system and it's, um, what is it? Take a look. Pluma. Some giveaway already. Mate system monitor, Mate terminal. There is no doubt about it. We are on Mate. So this is the latest Arcanix B Mate and um, maybe a little thank word to the Arc Linux team, but also the Arc Linux beta testers to test around 20 ISOs. Yes, that's how many ISOs we deliver to you. So big thanks because we've just um, tested all the new 20 ISOs for the release of mid-December and dividing the work over more short shoulders is so well efficient and I'm grateful. So if you say that's something for me, I would like to uh, test the ISOs that go on SourceForge. So it's not a build, it's the build that we do for you. And then we test that build and that build is going to uh, SourceForge. That's the way we do it. If that sounds something you'd like to do, then uh, join us on Discord. Just ask away. So this is now an, a new installation. Uh, Mid-December you'll have it. There's already something red. We always improve every day. We improve. Control T. So used to it. It does not exist. So it's just a general tour of uh, the, the system. And I'm gonna, uh, of course, of course, teach a little bit. So here we have all the shortcuts. I would like to have my termite, please. Thank you very much. Termite. And then in here it says disabled. Control Alt T. That's in. So some of these operating systems are very clean. It's up to you to make your own keyboard shortcuts. If you rather have super return, then it's up to you. So anyway, I saw this red thing up there and I said, let's update the system. There are always updates. That's Arch for you. And I've made a new um, alias just for this problem that I always have seem to have in Belgium here. So he refers to a Dutch website, probably leaseweb.net, and it's too slow and, and everything just won't work. I have now a alias, a new alias, and you can use it too if you have the similar problem. And it's called either mirror, mirror A, mirror D, mirrors. I have four possible ways to fix it. So no, I want first to fix it. So the mirror A, is one and we can do another update and everything just whoop, goes in problem solved already if it's not solved use the other uh, aliases until you see this line here then like i said we never stand still there are the new things that we see opportunities we see or, uh, or uh, improvements and up oh, there we go when we when you see something that says etc skull these days you have to type skull okay which means an alias you can look it up with the word alias and it's going to copy paste everything over from the etc skull to your home directory but there is also something new and it's called copy the bash and copy the bash is control h what we always did see the difference between this one and that one if there is no difference and we don't have compare in here because this is not tunar this is not tunar this is kaha another file manager no compare available super f5 not available but melt is available if you would like to take a look but i know already there is no difference there is no difference yes there is a difference okay then we use the melt application. So programming, I guess, yes, melt. How does this work? You take, take one file. Let's put this one there, that one there. And bash rc goes in here, bash rc latest goes in there, and then you compare. And that's the line I was missing. So there is indeed a difference between, uh, well, the previous package and this package. So Oh, we copy paste everything. Now there's one thing that we can do. You can do it like this. But doing this over and over and over again, 
so I'm not gonna save close without saving I was getting a little bit tired so when you get tired you make aliases and here we have CB CB stands for copy bash copy bash from here to here CB copies bash RC latest to bash RC and also sources it so you get the last things you can immediately run the last new um, aliases if there are any so CB up oh, done if we take a look at this again and that's an interesting feature in uh, melt so if you go back to melt everything is closed you say oh no we have to select everything again no nope. file open recent bash rc files are identical of course i copy pasted the right to the left so yes they're identical so that's um, how we do the updates after 18.12 so it's red up there. So let's see. Anything else, my friend? No. Nope. PKSYOA. There is Inksy still waiting for us. Yeah, Inksy is there. And there you go. Inksy is gone. Red is gone. Fine. So this is now Mate. And it looks pretty awesome. Feels awesome. Um, but, well, let's go to the control center. Everything you need is going to be here. Some of the elements work here as well. If you are accustomed to XFCE, then you'll recognize this fixed hard-coded icon thingy. So it's going to fix any of these icons that do not have a proper coloring. I believe the only one, oh, oh there are more. I was going to say the only one is HP, but there are four software developers that are not renaming their icons to a not strict path. So. Bummer, we need to run it again and again and again. There are some things um, in here you'll probably recognize like the system profile and marker, things that the USB image, the grub customizer. So the way Mate reads these elements, it's the same as XFC reads these elements and that's why it's in here. That's the only reason why. It's just not as easy as one, two, three. So just uh, convenient. But, 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 let's do some stuff, let's do some stuff, let's do some stuff. Appearance. So a little bit different, you need to go inside, we can go for already some kind of body jelly look, yeah, why not, never been a while since I've done that. So body jelly look, which is um, this theme, doesn't mean the icon, if you want the icon, there's no icon here, it's a bit strange at first of course and then customize and then oh oh i can do more okay fine so let's test out out our newest sadly flexible arc so everything is blue is one of the possibilities going quickly over seeing that everything is blue okay system and all the icons are accounted for fine so rather go to sadly mono arc like this and then pointers maybe uh, I could go for multi black or oxynail why not oxynail it has been a while since I used the oxynail we've made a tutorial how to build your own big um, package build for things you find on the net and that's the result we have now a cursor fine fonts maybe You'd like it a little bit bigger, just by one. I don't know, makes my life easier. Maybe you'd like it smaller. So this is sans regular. I'm not changing it to noto sans, which is another possibility. So you start typing noto sans regular, and there it was. So this is a possibility to change the font completely. And there are some strange fonts to pick from. Uh, you'll get a completely personalized system. This may be a little bit difficult to read, but it's possible. And um, for the rest, the backgrounds is variety kicking in for me anyway. So close. Let's get a better one from variety. 
Little papers, little papers, oh flowers. What's all these flowers? Oh la la la. Some green. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So I've done nothing. I've just been sitting here and variety is getting me all the wallpapers. Nice. So this is Eric's home. Uh, the tip from XFCE works. That means if you are on Mate, you look at your keyboard, you have the space bar, left to the space bar, you have an L button, click on the L button, keep pressing it, right mouse click the mouse, and you can do this as well here. Nice. Good, right? Good to know. These tips from XFCE work in Mate. So, I don't know. And it's really what is based on Kaka, but some elements do seem to be the same. So that's good. We feel at home. I do not change a lot of things in preferences here. I always do in Nemo to add more icons up there. This is sometimes interesting to see the permissions and the owner, but that's mainly because I develop. And that's all good for me. So this is your system as of now. We could uh, add some things to the panel, reset the panel, delete the panel, new panel, about panels, property of the panel to the top, to the bottom. And then we get this kind of thing. If you rather like it to have on the bottom to expand or not to expand, we need to move this one to the top then. But this is also quite nice if you like it minimal. Then this is going to be your menu. Let's put it on the top so you can see. If I can see. Okay, so top. And then this. Look. Nice, right? I'm going to leave it like this. It's just a experiment. Out the height if you want to. And it goes away. I suppose I need to close it first. Show height buttons. So if you can click on those. Whoop, it goes away. That's even more minimal. But, okay, it's up to you to <coughs> decide what you want. A background image, the solid color is nice. If you take it black, for instance, okay, and then make it opaque, then we get these nice results that I kind of like. You can put a background image to it, but I don't think that's nice. I see something in between here. So that's the best, I, I guess. Now let's make the panel a little bit bigger again because i want to tell you also something else this is a menu right you like it you hate it it's the menu right mouse click add to the panel if you start typing menu you have other possibilities you have here the main menu add and this can be your menu as well the only thing you have to do is to remove it and lock to the panel and move it there or something or the other side We'll leave it in the middle. Um, so that's a possibility as well. This one, add menu, looks like this. Maybe you'd like this better and there are preferences to be looked at. If that opens, probably this one, right? So it looks similar as the XFCE choices we have, pretty much similar. And then you decide, you test it out, you decide. And the menu bar, you probably recognize that one. So, good, right? Choices, freedom of choice. Gone. So that's just the menu. There are other things you can check out. Characters, clock, command, CPU frequency, eyes, fish, keyboard. System monitor, weather report, stuff like that. But I think the most important thing is, is your menu. If you're not happy with your menu, you have choices. All right. So um, back to expand. I liked it like this. Okay, fine. Anything else? Create folders, change the extra ground, background. We have this panel down here. How about this panel? Can we do the same? Probably. 
Yes, we can. We could make it similar to the other one, so it's not looking that different. It's one big happy family in the same kind of look. This keeps this keeps uh, uh, is black, so references maybe two is enough. Close. So workspace one, workspace two, fine. And I'm pretty happy with uh, what I'm looking at. I don't know if I can probably can change lots of other things, but um, that's entirely up to you what you do with your system. But um, I would say enjoy Arch Linux, learn, have fun and enjoy. That's our motto. And thanks again to all our users and beta testers and of course the core team. Cheers. <laughs>